And one area that could be really impacted by this storm is Hood River. Right now, we know they canceled after school activities for the Hood River School District as well as the Columbia Gorge Community College. So what are they doing to prepare? Joseph Dames was there and has a story for us. Well, anticipating ice accumulation all across I-84 and Hood River smack dab right in the middle of what could be a dangerous situation specifically for those roads. So I came out here to Hood River to see how they're preparing. It's been a busy day. Our crews are the ones that are out there that are trying to make it safe. Trucks in and trucks out for Hood River County Public Works as they prepare for a possible uh, ICE event. I talked to Public like Works Director the Michael DeWan about being ready. Uh, the crews are out right now monitoring the roads. For the ICE. We do use sand, the cinders. Um, we sometimes use a de-icer, mag chloride, uh, for, for lighter, lighter ice or thinner ice, but for what we're expecting, probably sand's going to be our best tool, and you kind of wait for it to start to fall and put the sand out and just kind of try to stay on top of it and keep the road safe. A dry afternoon left time for last minute trips to the grocery store for people to stock up before the storm. ODOT's Don Hamilton says entering and leaving areas like Hood River is going to be tough. It may be impossible if they have to close the interstate. The first closure we will do if there's a problem is going to be the um, is going to be the gorge. It's going to be Interstate 84 itself, and that's the one that we're going to be watching very, very carefully. It's a very heavily traveled road, got a lot of freight and commerce on there, and the potential for problems. Measures to make sure drivers are safe, and Hamilton says it's an event we have to be ready for. This forecast is not a little thing. They're, they're like a, a half an inch, three quarters of an inch of ice. It's a lot of ice. So moving forward, the best advice is to just stay off the roads if you can. Reporting in Hood River, Joseph Dames, Coin 6 News.